Good evening. Decided to go live tonight. You know, I've been doing some videos and, you know, people are probably asking, who is this guy? He talks all the time, but I don't know his experience. I was a very quiet child. And being quiet, and then when I went to school, I really didn't have lots of friends. You know, kindergarten, I got picked on a lot. I, at, by the time I hit fourth grade, I was at the point to where I was fighting all the time because I kept getting picked on. Got to the point where people didn't want to be my friend. I was a very difficult kid. I always had problems. And every time I had a problem, I just made it worse. Anyway, when I was five, I contracted walking pneumonia, which they caught late. I was skin and bones. If I didn't, if my parents didn't see it, they said it could have killed me. So that was one experience I went through in my life that, and I was only five, so I really didn't understand it at the time, which was probably a good thing. Then growing up, I was very active. And, you know, but I was to myself. I had friends, but I would be somebody else that I'm not. I wouldn't be myself because I wanted to be cool. I wanted to be hip. I wanted to be with all the kids and hang out with all the cool kids. But I wasn't that kid. I got used a lot in, in friendship. Like I said in one of my videos, I had a friend that I had from kindergarten all the way up to sixth grade. This one kid moved in. That was it. I was done. I was out. He wasn't my best friend anymore. I had a couple of friends. One was my ex-wife and one was a friend of ours named uh, Chris. So I really just hung out with them and I hung out with this other kid, Patrick. And that was through middle school. He moved away out to Long Island and I only saw him once, but we were kids. We didn't know. It was like I was out there. We were doing anything. We weren't doing anything out there, hanging out. And I went out there once, and that was it. Done. You know, nothing. And you know, I always had a problem making friends. Always. Why did I have a problem making friends? I was a very shy kid. Had lots of fights up in, in fourth grade. I had lots of fights where I had to go see a psychiatrist because they said I was fighting too much. And I said, I'm defending myself because I got bullied from kindergarten. So, so a psychiatrist, she said, nothing. She said it was a normal reaction for a kid that was being bullied and just had it. He snapped, you know, and I did. And I just had fights. That's all. And then when I became 18, I got handed a car. So my dad bought me a car so I could take my mom to school because he was working and my mom went to school in Brooklyn, which is a bad part of Brooklyn. So he bought me the car to take her to school, take her to work in the morning and then take her to school which I did. I was a little cocky and arrogant ass. I really was. I took advantage of it sometimes. I always made sure I picked up my mom. I always made sure I took my mom to school, back home from school, and vice versa. Took her to work, picked her up from work. I always did that so she didn't have to worry about walking. So, you know, but I did take advantage, you know, I made friends and they only used me really for my car. One day I called them up. I said, listen, I'm going to, I don't have my car. Let's go out. They go, no, I made plans already. So basically a lot of friends used me for my car. And I learned that the hard way. And I stopped hanging out with people. Made a few friends in Ridgewood, which I'm still friends with. My one friend is in West Virginia, which I'm probably going to be moving there soon to 
you know, make a new life for myself. I mean, as you already know, I told people about my relationship. My relationship is over. Right now, it's over. So I'm going to go someplace, nice, small town, where I can, it's cheap and I can rebuild my life. I have, dis I'm on disability. So my disability, when I was 32, I had a brain cyst. Nearly killed me. I had to write out my funeral because they said this surgery could go wrong and you probably, you have a very bad chance with what happened. Because I had thought I had a headache and it turns out that my brain was shutting down my body and luckily it didn't hit the part that was, runs the heart because it could have killed me. So I survived. So I survived walking pneumonia and I survived a brain cyst. I was married at the time. I made a lot of mistakes in my marriage. I chose other things over that. I was very cold. Much like I was as a child that I never really corrected myself on. And it led to my divorce. We both said things we didn't mean. We didn't like each other at one point. We couldn't even talk in the same room. But she would always let me stay at her house, though, because the, we have our kids and you know, I love my kids to death. They're my anchor in this world, to be honest. And then I ended up, then I made a lot of mistakes. And then I had my girlfriend now that we both know. I don't even know that's going to go anywhere anymore. So, you know, it's something that is not going to happen. And I made a lot of mistakes. And again, I got cold, but this time, my, like in two years, her grandma, her mom died who we took care of for 13 years. And then my mom died a week after. In fact, the day her mom died, my mom went into the hospital. And the day that I think we had the funeral, my mom passed away. So that took a turn for the worst in my case. And I, fell into a deep depression and I just counted on myself. I didn't take her into consideration or her feelings or what she was going through, which was very wrong. It was a mistake. This past Easter, her aunt died on her mom's birthday, which was a very bad day for both of us. I got sloppy drunk, stupid, she couldn't feel because I did the stupid thing and got drunk. I ultimately invoked the breakup because I thought maybe it would help us get back together, which was a mistake, and I admit that. And then uh, come to now. I've had a lot of experience dealing with a lot of stress, going through a lot of situations with a lot of different people. I've had jobs. I've, I've done, I was a, just, I, I think what I'm trying to say is I've had a lot of experience in my life where I've made lots of mistakes. And what did I do from those mistakes? I learned from them. Whatever I learned from my mistakes, I try to con try to help you guys not make the same mistakes I made. And that's what I try that's what I want to do. My cousin gave me this idea to do YouTube, well, or some type of advice chat or something like that. So I started a face a uh, page on Facebook where these videos will go to Facebook attached to my profile. And it's under the same name, and uh, I will get the name of the channel. I will give it the next, I'll give it on my next video. But I'm always giving advice, helping my family out. But you know what? The one person I didn't help was myself. That's why I look at myself when I look at these videos, because I'm not only talking to you, I'm talking to me. I'm trying to make it so that. I'm helping myself as well as you. 
that I see these mistakes and I know how to fix them. And the next time I won't do it again, which I hope I don't. I mean, I have my days. Everybody has their days. You're going to slip. You're going to go crazy. You're going to be like, oh, I hate life. I hate life. It's going to happen. But you can't let it get the best of you. Because if you do, then you're letting your emotions get to you, which is not a good thing. You're allowed to feel, but then you should know, you should correct yourself and heal and figure out why you made the mistake, what you need to do to fix it, which is what I try to convey in these videos, that this is what I did to fix that situation. I've had a lot of failed relationships in my life. And... I never took stock in what I did wrong in those relationships, and I started taking stock in them. I realized the mistakes I made, but now, right now, it's too late. So I basically got to work on my own. So working on my own, I'm getting to know myself better and trying to not make the same mistake twice. Me and my girlfriend are probably broken up for good, but we are trying to be friends and dealing with this on so this way at the end of this at least i can talk to her and she can talk to me because we do have children and she's going to be at events where she could be with somebody and i could be like you know uncomfortable but it's the route i chose it's the idea that i did that i did in my stupid head that thought it was going to fix things and it didn't So what I'm trying to say in this video is this is me. I'm not a perfect human being. I suffer from stress. I suffer from, you know, I get a little anxiety every now and then. But you know what? It's right now in this society, it's very, it's very, it's a very anxious society right now. Anger and everything else. So I'm glad you watch my videos. I'm glad you take the time to see them and i hope i help i it, like i said if i have one person on this that's all i need that's all i need so at least not one person didn't do the same mistakes i did and messed up certain things in their life or just had to fix things because they did the wrong thing which a lot of people don't get which a lot of people don't get the second chance to do I might not get a second chance at this, so I'm by, pretty much by myself. But I admit that I made a mistake, and I do. I am accountable for my mistakes, and that's what I do. So, message to everybody. I may not have gone. You guys, there is always somebody out there that had a way rougher life than I had. Way rougher. But it's always nice to know that there's other people that are out there that want to help if they are out there and they are feeling really down and that there is a light at the end of that tunnel. And who knows when you'll reach it, but when you do, that light is going to be your winning the race. Like I said in one of my videos. You're running the NASCAR race. You're taking it slow. You're getting the car up to speed and getting it better throughout the race. And then by the time you hit the end of that race, you're going to win. Or you can end up with a top five or maybe even top two. Because you sat there and you took the time. And you're not going to fix yourself in one day. That's impossible. It's going to take you a while to fix yourself, but take the time to do it. Thank you for watching my videos. Like and subscribe. Let me know how they do. Let me know how you do. Let me know if I helped you out. If I did, that'd be great. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know. I will always be out there for you guys, not for me. This is a freebie to help. Anybody out there that's in trouble or that just needs some advice and go through and fix their life, I'm fixing mine. And when I do, 
Believe me, it'll be the happiest day of my life. Thank you very much. Have a great evening and enjoy the rest of your week. Have fun out there and remember, life isn't always bad. It gets better and we have to, we, sometimes we just need to work on it. Thank you very much and have a great evening. And I hope that everybody, everybody gets out of this game they call life in one piece. Have a great night.